Hey there everybody, it's Lance with Love to Hate, back again with another solo gameplay video, and in this one I am going to be playing Canvas Reflections. This is the new expansion to the very popular 2020 game Canvas, and uh, Reflections was run on Kickstarter last year. It is being delivered to those who've backed it, and... Road to Infamy Games was kind enough to send me a copy of both of these games to be able to review and do a playthrough on. And so I am all by myself today. Sam is at work and uh, it was deciding between watching Batman on HBO Max and uh, playing Canvas and I decided to go with Canvas solo. So that is what I am doing here tonight. I have my three backgrounds here. I'll let you take a closer look at each of these. And uh, these are ones from the Reflections expansion. So you do not find these particular ones in the base game. They stood out to me. I uh, like them enough to want to play with them tonight. So they are here. And some of the other changes that you are going to see... One is obviously the board here. This board is new. It is something in the Reflections expansion. You have spots here for all of your different ribbons. And the uh, market here for the cards that you are going to be drafting is different. You have two rows now, and you can choose from the top or bottom row. However, each column that you move over, you are going to have to put the inspiration tokens on both of the cards. So for instance, if I wanted to take something from this second column here, I would have to have two inspiration tokens to place on the first column. You uh, have the same ribbons as before, but you do have a new type of ribbon, and that is the uh, gold ribbon. These are going to be worth three points, and there will be certain cards from the uh, Reflections deck that will award uh, particular or will award the gold ribbons for particular things. As this one right here shows you that uh, you need to try to get the uh, tent or the whatever the uh, non-color icon is there at the bottom to uh, the left or the right of this green space right here. And uh, another thing to note about the reflection cards is all of them are double-sided. You flip them over and there are different icons on this side. You can see this one is blue, whereas on this side it was yellow. Plus, the artwork changes a little bit. This is seeking. As you can see, that guy is looking for something, perhaps buried treasure. You flip it over and it's Plague. He's holding up a sign and uh, he is a doctor. So that's pretty cool. And um, those are the major changes. You do also have two bigger awards here. The best in show is going to go to the painting that got the most points. Uh, or no, excuse me, this is the one who goes to the winner. So this is what I'm trying to achieve and get. And then you have Masterpiece, which is kind of like a second winner. Uh, you give it to whoever created the most beautiful portrait painting, and uh, they win as well as the person who is best in show. So that's pretty cool. A nice addition. I like that. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a solo game, and I'm going to be doing the Vincent variant. If you're not familiar with what that means, there's going to be a dummy player over here who starts the game with six inspiration tokens, and uh, I'm going to shake these up each time it is his turn, and we'll let him fall to the ground. However many are face up determines whether he takes the top row or bottom row and just how far over he goes. If it is an even number, he's going to take from the top row. If it is an odd number, such as it is right now, he will take from the bottom row. And uh, he just simply takes cards. He does not score any points. In theory, I suppose you could say his score is one less than my target score. So if I hit my target, then I beat him. If I don't hit my target, then he is going to beat me. And uh, what we have set up here for you all today uh, in the uh, rulebook for the Reflections expansion, on the back there are some scenarios, just like there was in the uh, original game. And for this one, I am going to be doing the first time playing uh, standard scenario, and my target score is 32. It tells me that I need to play with these four different scoring cards. And what those four are, we have Tent, which for Tent I need uh, the... 
uh, non-color plus non-color plus color icons here. And for every time I have that set on a painting, I'm going to get one of the ribbons. And you can see one ribbon will give me four points, two will give me nine, three will give me 16. The next one, and this is from Reflections. In fact, these three right here are all from Reflections. Composition is the only one that I'm playing with today that is from the base game. Brushwork, I need to have more of these icons than the color icons. And you can see the scoring uh, regimen for how that will work if I'm able to do that. And then alignment, I need to get the triangle to the left of this icon. For each time I'm able to do that on each painting, I will get a ribbon. As you can see, I'm trying to get four. I only have three paintings to work with, so on at least one painting, I am trying to make that happen twice. And then composition is very easy to understand. I need to have one of each color icon on my painting to be able to claim a blue ribbon. And uh, that is the gist of it, so we are ready to go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this and take my first turn. I do start the game with six inspiration tokens as well. And uh, right off the bat, I am just going to take Fragile. I like having the triangle as far to the left as possible to get the alignment. It's got two colors here, red and yellow, so I'm going to take that. I don't have to spend any inspiration to do so. So I'm going to shift everything over. A new one comes out, and we have game. All right, so it's Vincent's turn, and we're going to shake these up. And I'm going to let them fall right here in the middle of the game board. And we have two. So I'm going to place one here, one there, and it is an even number, so he's going to take from the top row, and he will take harmonious. And we slide everything over. And childhood comes out. So it's back over to me. And seeing what I already have, fragile, I want to try and make sure to get some of those icons here. I've got lots I could work with with childhood. I don't know if I want to spend all of my inspiration to get that, though. Quiet could work. You know what? I'm going to go with seeking. Because, and again, you can flip these over. This icon right here lets you know that on the back of this is blue. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but that indicates that there's blue on the back of this yellow here, as you can see right there. So I could flip that over. I think I'm going to definitely take that. So I get to gain this inspiration here, and I'm able to flip this over anytime I want. I'm not stuck with whatever it looks like when I draft it. So I'm going to flip that over, and as you can see, that works pretty well with what I've got going on there. Fragile Plague, that's an interesting combination there. So let's scoot everything over. Next one will come out, and it's Divine. We're going to shuffle up Vincent's tokens. And he got two again. So we'll put one here. We'll put one there. And he'll take Improbable. We'll slide everything over. It's back over to me. We've got Wandering. Out on the board now. I have two cards and the only color I need left is purple and I would like to try and get uh, some of the these icons right here as it would give me a uh, gold ribbon. That would be pretty nice. And that would hap that would be there. Hmm, should I take that? I want to see what's on the back of Quiet here. The colors just changed, that's all it is. You know, I like getting a lot of uh, inspiration tokens early on in the game. That's going to help me out later on if I need to take something from over here. So I am going to take Illuminated, or yeah, Illuminated and gain that extra inspiration token. If I slot it behind all of those, that would get me, give me all the colors, plus it would give me uh, brushwork as I would have more of these icons than the color icon. I won't get tint, but I will get alignment. So three out of the four is not bad. 
and I can cash that in on my next turn if I want to, or I can draft another card. I do need to scoot some things over. The next one coming out is Imminent. I like Imminent. It's an interesting one. I'll shake these up, and it is a one. And so when he uh, does a one, I don't actually put one out here. He's just going to take the top one. And so he's going to gain two inspiration tokens. And it is back over to me. Uh, Burden is our new one. And this is a double-sided reflection tile. On the back of it is tethered. It's very cool. Back over to me. And I could cash this in, but I think I want to hold off for just another turn or two. And uh, I am going to take Childhood. So I'm going to put an inspiration there and there and take Childhood. Move everything on the top row over. The next one coming out is Vast. There we go. Okay, I'm going to set that off to the side for now because I think I am going to go with this. Uh, seeing what's out on the board, I don't think there's anything else that would be better than what I already have. All right, so it's Vincent's go. Let's shake things up. And he got a two. So he will place one there and one there, and he is going to take Wandering. You know, earlier, I think um, when he got a one on his turn before the last one, he was actually supposed to take this card here and not that one. I might have gotten that wrong. Uh, with that being said, make sure you have the Klingon subtitles on so that I can correct any rules goofs uh, that are discovered after I already published the video. So, uh, all right, my turn. And I either have to score this one or I can draft one more. My limit is five, and I'm at four currently. I, I do think I'm going to draft again, though, because I really want game. So I'm going to take game, and we'll skip that all over. Sudden comes out. And the reason I wanted game is because I really like having that there, because uh, I I'll get a silver ribbon for both of those. It's per each one of those. That works really well. And so, yeah, I really wanted that one. So it's Vincent Skell. Let's see what he gets. He got a one. So we're going to make sure to do it right this time. He will take this card here, Quiet, and gain three Inspiration Tokens. Scooting everything else over. And Escape is our new card. So I'm going to score now. And I'm going to do Fragile Plague. And I'm going to put it in this green backing here. That's quite silly. All right. Having uh, a uh, plague doctor with a pile of teacups, a stack of teacups, is quite interesting. All right, so let's score this for tent. I uh, do, yeah, I do qualify. I've got one there. Oh no, I don't, uh, because that is not one. So no, I do not get tent. I was close. Uh, brushwork. I do have more of these icons than those, so I will get a green ribbon. Uh, composition, I do have all five colors, so I'll get a blue ribbon. And for alignment, the triangle is to the left of those icons, so I will get a purple ribbon. I will not get any gold ribbons, though, because this is not directly next to the uh, green spot right here, so I miss out on the gold ribbons. Anyhow, I do get three ribbons there, so that's pretty nice off of my first painting. All right, so it is Vincent's turn, and we're going to cast his inspiration tokens. All right, he got two, 
And so he is going to take burden here. And deep is our new one. All right, so what am I working with here? I've got uh, these two cards right here, game and childhood. Childhood being on top of game. Uh, and I'm really working off of the brush strokes uh, or the those icons. I don't necessarily have to have the color. Uh, it can be zero, and so I would still qualify for brushwork. However, I do want to kind of try to get tint here. I am already on alignment, and I do need red to fulfill composition. This divine one would almost be perfect. I would need a color icon. Hmm. If only I could have that and a color. That would be great. All right, I'm going to take Vast. I'm going to put a token there and a token there, and I'm going to take Vast here, as I think it's going to help me out the most. And the new one is in Anxiety. All right, so let's see if I can't cleverly arrange these cards. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. Let's see, does this get me what I need? All right, uh, that gets me all five. The triangle is to the left of the uh, that icon, so that gets me alignment. Uh, I will get a silver one for this triangle. I will get a silver one for this uh, square with the, the diagonal lines. And I do have tent, I like it. So I'm gonna go with vast game here. And let's see, we are going to slot this in on. Why not? Let's do the uh, lightning storm. So I think it's going pretty well for me so far. All right, so vast game. We've got whales in the sky with a stork carrying a baby and a chessboard over the hills. That's pretty weird. Uh, but we'll go with it uh, as it scores me a lot of points. Of course, I'm going to go with it. So tent, uh, we're scoring tent here. I do have two of the non-color with the one color. So I will get the pink ribbon, which I did not have earlier. Brushwork, I don't. Oh, man, I missed out on brushwork. I missed out on that because I only have one and one. I need to have more of those than the color icon, so I'm not going to get the green ribbon. That stinks. I missed out. I do get composition because I have one of each. So I am up to two blue ribbons now. And then alignment. I do have the triangle to the left of that icon, so I am going to get the purple ribbon. I'm up to two of those. And I do get a silver ribbon because I have one triangle there. And I get another one because I have one of the box with the diagonal lines there. So two silver ribbons is pretty nice. And for those of you who want to check out my painting, there it is. All right, we've got two paintings done, one to go here. So the game is two thirds over. All right, Vincent's go. Let's see what he does here. He got two. So he's going to place one there, one there, and he's going to take freedom. And closed comes out. Now, I am down to two inspiration tokens, so I can only take from these four right here. I don't have anything to work with, so I might as well just take this one since it gives me a ton. And the triangle is pretty far over to the left. So, yeah, let's do it. Why not? So I'm going to take nature and all of those inspiration tokens and expanse comes out. All right, let's see what happens with his one token. And he is going to take divine because it was odd. The one token was up and one is an odd number. So he takes from the bottom row. And attraction is our new one all right so looking what i have i do have a triangle and it's pretty far left i do want to try and get 
those uh, non-color icons on tint, but also because it gives me a silver ribbon. There is one there on sudden. That would also put that to the right of the triangle. That's pretty good. I'm liking that. So yeah, I'm going to go with sudden. So I will put a token there and a token there. And I'll take sudden. Graceful comes out. And you can see sudden nature works pretty good with me so far. Let's see what else I can make happen. All right, Vincent's go. And he got another two. So he's going to put one there, one there, and he's taking anxiety. He can have all the anxiety he wants. All right, distant comes out. Distant is uh, one of the reflection tiles. It can flip over to visitor. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, this one can flip over as well. We had closed on it. Opening. Okay. All right, my go. And I would like to get the purple slot filled in here. Preferably with one of uh, these icons right here. Uh, that isn't going to work for me. You know, I might just have to take a card that I, I'm not going to use. Uh, and I might as well take one that has inspiration tokens on them to keep them from Vincent. And so, oh, I guess that is my card, not his card. Uh, so I'm going to take deep here, even though I probably won't use it. And thoughtful comes out. And thoughtful is double-sided with thought. So we have thoughtful and thought. There you go. All right, Vincent's turn. And he got a two. So he is spending all of his tokens to take Expanse. All right, and Precious comes out. All right, I can still take two more cards before I have to score. And now that would work for me. That works very well. I am definitely going to do that. Uh, well, let me think about that. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, I think I still am. Yeah, I'm going to take thought. So I'm going to put one there, 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 and there. And I will take thought. Now, I could flip this over and take thoughtful, but that is not as beneficial to me as taking thought. And I don't think it makes a bit of difference where I put that in because uh, I'm still going to have sudden nature more than likely be my painting here. So we'll scoot that over and we have death or hungry. Well, I like hungry more than death. So let's leave it at that. Although I guess uh, if you're very hungry, it leads to death. All right, so he has no more tokens, and zero is his face-up number, and zero is an even number, so he will take here from closed. And mess is our next card. Now, I could take one more, so let me see if there is anything out here that looks more enticing than what I already have. It definitely has to have purple on it for me to want to be interested. So I'm looking at either one of these two and I can't afford mess. So really attraction is the only thing that I would be interested in. And I don't think that I am. I don't want any more of the color icons on my painting here. So I'm just going to score my last painting. And we will slot these in here with Sudden Nature. And that is what it looks like there. And so let's score it. All right, so starting with Tint, I do have at least two of these icons 
plus the one color icon. So I do get the tint ribbon. That gives me two of those for nine points. Uh, brushwork. I did not get brushwork again, which really stinks. I messed up on that. Uh, I have an equal number of those. I needed more of these here in the green, so I'm not going to get that. Composition, I do have one of every color, so I will get another blue ribbon. I have three of those for nine points. And then alignment, my triangle is to the left of that uh, particular icon, so I will get the purple one for my third one for eight points. I was not able to get a fourth for 13. Uh, over here, I do get some silver ribbons, one per each of the non-color icons, and there are three there, so I'm going to get three silver tokens. And that is it for the game. So we are going to go into final scoring now, and I do need 32 points in order to beat this scenario, beat Vincent. Vincent's score is 31 points, we'll say. All right, so... Scoring the green ribbon, that gets me one point here. Woo! I'm on the board. All right, the blue ribbons. I've got three of those. That is worth nine points, so I'm up to ten points. My pink ribbons, I've got two for nine points, so I'm up to 19 points now. The purple ribbons, I have three for eight points, so I'm at 27. I think I'm gonna make it. And then our silver ribbons are worth two points each. I'm at 27, so 29, 31, 33, 35, 37 points. How about that? I was able to beat scenario, uh, standard first time playing scenario there. So. That is an example of how the Solo Vincent variant works in the new Reflections expansion. And uh, as you can see, these two boxes, the artwork, go together to form one beautiful painting here that uh, can hang on your wall. You can see there that there are slots in uh, the back of the box here to hang it on your wall. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, leave a comment down below. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified of all of our great content that we do here and all of the work that we do trying to help gamers find great games to play with non-gamers. I'm Lance, and we are Love to Hate. We'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody.